The new branch was officially opened by Prime Minister Peter O'Neill in a small ceremony, which was also witnessed by the Governor of the Bank of PNG, Loy Bakani, Chairman of Kina Board, Sir Rabi Namalu, and members of the Kina Board and staff. Kina CEO Sid Yates said it was important for the bank to deepen its presence within its customer base, encouraging one on one interaction with its customers. Kina's vision is for prosperous customers and communities underpinned by progressive, accessible financial services. This new branch is aligned with this vision. Kina Bank is Papua New Guinea's fourth largest bank. Central Bank Governor Loy Bakani said Kina is enabling the wider PNG population to have access to financial services. Kina Bank is positioning itself to be a growing and dynamic and strong fourth bank in the country. I'm pleased also to acknowledge the work of the board and management in ensuring the structure of Kina Bank Limited, its policies and process are reflective of its vision and values of providing relevant and cooperative products and services to its customers. Prime Minister O'Neill said traditional Papua New Guineans are dealing with a dramatic change in the face of a modern economy. They face the challenge of managing their finances, having access to financial services, and understanding digital financial services. That is why it is important that private sector and government continue to provide strong support to our people and our communities right across the country. Kina Bank's continued commitment in supporting our customers managing their money and their finances is an important step in this direction. The new Kina Bank branch also has an easy loan and wealth management desk with 15 staff to serve customers. Kina Board Chairman Sir Rabi Namalu said the bank has plans to expand further. Since uh, the Prime Minister made reference to it, but we do intend to uh, set, uh, set up branches in our parts of Papua New Guinea. Sir Rabi also announced that Kina will have a new board chairman. Sir Rabi will be replaced by Izikeli Taureka, who joined the Kina board as non executive director in 2016. Taureka was an executive director at Inter Oil Corporation and previously held a number of roles under Chevron Corporation. Delhi Waigeno, National, MTV News.